Next event on the track, the men's mile. Bernard Legat of Washington State holds the meet record. And Tony Waldrop from way back in 1974, 35 years ago, the NCAA best time. Waldrop was an amazing athlete who didn't pursue it after he graduated. He just said, nah, I'm into other stuff, and he left the sport. Dorian Ulray, who uh, was on the distance medley relay yesterday evening, that was overhauled by Galen Rupp. But a very important race for the Arkansas men. There is an Oregon runner in this race added on a tie for 10th place, Matt Centrowitz. The Oregon sophomore is in this race, not expected to score, but since he's in the race, it certainly is possible. That is Centrowitz, whose dad, Matt, uh, the American record holder one time for 5,000 meters, an Olympian, a fabulous coach at an American University, and uh, his two children are here, Lauren Centrowitz for Stanford and Matt for Oregon. And Arkansas also has Duncan Phillips in this race. He was on their distance medley relay, so an important event for Arkansas men to try and get as many points as they possibly can. So in case Oregon falters, they can move in for that team championship. Dwight Keith Jackson would have said that last race was a dandy, and this one may be too. This is very deep, very close. Not much distance separating these athletes on what they've achieved this year. Uh, virtually all of them within about two to three seconds of each other, and most of them clustered right around that four-minute mile that they've run. Uh, it's funny, America has had 322 athletes crack the four-minute barrier since Roger Bannister did it 55 years ago, and about 10 of them have done it this year indoors already, so more and more are doing it, and um, a lot of them are right here today. Justin Switzer of Michigan taking out the early lead. We'll see what the 400-meter split is. Lee Emanuel of New Mexico right behind him, and then Craig Miller of Wisconsin. Ian Fitzgerald of William and Mary currently fourth. This is the latest distance running star, so to speak, that Coach Ron Warhurst has developed in Switzer, and now a senior, and has run 358 this year on an oversized, meaning more than 200 meter indoor track. He's the Big Ten champion. He ran 358.6. Right around 60 seconds is Switzer for the first 400 meters, and the athletes settling in nicely. Matt Setrowitz. Back about ninth place. And remember, only the top eight score. New Mexico has come up with some very good distance runners in the last year or two. Emmanuel's in second place has run 357.9 indoors this year. Kind of the program coming up very quickly uh, to be able to get to the upper echelons of the NCAAs here. It's a very steady pace. Nothing dramatic's happened. A lot's going to start happening, I think, in the third 400 meters of this race, 440 yards, because it's a mile. Well, I'll say they have definitely slowed it down. Yeah. It's a 65-second lap, and Matt Trasentowitz Jr. has now moved himself right off the shoulder of Justin Switzer and into second place. I have to see if that move costs him anything. That was an awfully slow 400 meters. A lot of jostling going on as Lee Emanuel now of New Mexico bursts out of the pack and says, okay, there'll be no more of this. That's right. And starts to press the pace. It's now Emanuel in front with Switzer now second. And then Centrowitz has now retreated back to about eighth place. In many ways, the race is on now. I mean, we had one slow 400 meter pace. Ben Lanana, the Oregon coach, pacing back and forth, hoping for at least an eighth place finish for Centrowitz so he can pick up at least one point. But looking at the late turnover manual, there is no fooling around here, folks. This is a hard, hard pace, well under four minutes, I think. He's gonna run 58-59 for this 400 meters, and then it's gonna be kept up after that. Lee Emanuel has really pressed the pace to come through at 305, so he did throw in just under 60 seconds. It's going to be tough for them to break four, four minutes, but it's the national title that's at stake, and it is Emanuel who has pushed this and made this into a race. Wisconsin is right up there, running extremely well. Craig Miller right there on his shoulder saying, hey, that uh, second 400 didn't take that much out of me either. So Emmanuel has done the work and he's starting to suffer. You can see his shoulders twisting back and forth and his head not exactly as steady as you'd like to see it. One lap remaining. It is Lee Emanuel of New Mexico and Craig Miller of Wisconsin. That is the battle for the win. And Central, which trying to move into scoring position for Oregon. Here comes Miller trying to make a move at the wrong time. And Emmanuel just rebuffs it and finds another gear. It's Lee Emanuel of New Mexico who is going to hold off. 
Craig Miller of Wisconsin and runs this thing from about 700 meters out and steals it at four flat 33. That's about a 155 and a little bit of change last 800 meters. And he found another gear with about 120 meters to go. He did. Providence College well represented up there. Dorian O'Ray gets up and gets third place by five one hundredths over McCarthy. David McCarthy from Providence and Hayden McLaren. When Centrowitz gets some points, he comes in at sixth place running 402 and change. He'll pick up three points for Oregon. And this is the surprise winner. What a what an amazing improvement, in my opinion, that uh, has been going on in the in, uh, University of New Mexico. Hats off to them. Well, those are three bonus points for Oregon, only six points for Arkansas. So it really is looking like Arkans uh, Oregon's meet at this point in time. But there is a very, very happy young man. He's running a 358 coming into this meet, but he ran a gutty performance here. With about 700 meters to go, he took off and said, that's it and wins the national title in his final year.